Newcastle United. We have some Tottenham on for last game of the season. Newcastle United fighting for a Europa League spot. Tottenham Hotspur fighting for a Champions League spot. And now both, both teams have something to fight for. Both teams going to give it their all. But who's going to win? Who will be the team to win? And this is the Newcastle United team. They've got Donald Gold, Jan Matt Taylor, Castan, and Ben by the back for Shelby, Reynolds in the holding midfield. Townsend, Sudoku in the wings. Perez just behind them. Um, the Mitrovic. Sunday, the team's going to throw in. The Yuri Singles with Walker, Odomiro, Vimmer. And goes the back four, Dyer, Dembele, Lamela, Chadley, the wing, the mid four, and Dele Alley just behind Harry Kane. Both playing similar formations. It's a big game for both teams. Stoke City are fighting for a Europa League place. If they win, they secure their Europa League place. But if they lose in either Newcastle United or Leicester City win their games, then they will no longer be in the Europa League spot. And for West Ham United and Stoke City, Young City and Benito Hyatt are the players to watch. They both did tremendous for Stoke City in their, and West Ham in their first seasons and, and wow and Stoke City are fighting for and here's a Stoke City lineup: Jack Bottling, Cameron, Longshade, Peter the back four, Afalai, Mbilla, Shakiri and out of it to mid four, Bojan just behind Mami Jeff up front. Stoke City fighting for a Europa League place, they're fighting with Newcastle and Leicester City. The Newcastle lineup they've got Adrian and goals back for of Antonio Tompkins and Bona and uh, Creswell Kuyati, the holding defender, Valencia, Noble, Landini and Payet all behind Diafra Sacco. It's a big game for Tom for Stoke City, they win, they guarantee themselves in the last, last Europa League spot available. Because no one, yeah, the, the Stoke City need to and to guarantee that they'll be in the Europa League next season. If they lose, and now the final match day at the Emirates Stadium, the final match day for Arsenal. They need to win, they just need to win 1 0, 2 0, whatever, 2 1. They cannot draw by the, by the sound of it, they make the shift. They just need to win 1, 2, doesn't matter, 700 now. They just need to win, and they will have their first Premier League Championship. For over 10 years. That's all Arsenal need to do to get their first Barclays Premier League title for over four year, for over 10 years. Can they do it? It's Aston Villa they face. This is Arsenal lineup. Checking in Bellerin, Gabriel, Cossian, and Monreal, the back door. Ramsey, Verratti, the midfielders. Uh, mid mid Walcott, Sanchez, the wingers. Uh, Meta Otto just sitting behind Danny Welbeck. Oh my god, the Arsenal fans are ready for a party. And Aston Villa, they've got Brad Gulen in goal, Hutton, Les Fort, and Sudoku, the back for Sanchez, the whole midfield. Uh, Westwood and Gay, the central midfields. Yell and Ayu, the runners, and up front, it's Rudy Jeff. 
Now Arsenal getting set to kick this one off. The Arsenal fans, they, they are still in attendance here, making sure they are here. And now let's get. And, now, and Manchester United, last game of the season, they need to beat Bournemouth to ensure they're in the Champions League next season. And for Bournemouth, they've got to beat Manchester United here. To ensure that they stay, they stay in the Barclays Premier League next season. Or they need to at least draw. But Manchester United need to win to ensure their place in the top four. And there's the Man United squad. De Gea, Darmian, Small and Blitz. Forthwith Jackson, Carrick, Schneiderlin, Mata, Martial, Lingard and Rooney. That's the start now for Manchester United today. No Christian Eriksen today. And the Bournemouth line of Boric, Francis, Reed, Cook, Daniel, Simon, Fletcher, Gosling, Arthur, Rennell and Benica Fobia Brown. It will be a hard task for Bournemouth, but can they, can they stay up? Can they beat Manchester United? We're about to find out. There's David De Gea, he's been instrumental in the man, in between the sticks for Manchester United this season. Under Madden, another referee. And ready to kick this game off. In the last game of the season. And, and it's kicked off from Manchester United. And now Manchester United with the ball. It's And it's Carrick. The one Mata. Michael Carrick. Passed up to Wayne Rooney. Rooney with it. Rooney Dawson. Good clearance. Michael Carrick with it. It's Hesse Lingard. Wayne Rooney. No. It's Anthony Martial. From then, oh, referee giving a free kick. It's a great chance for Manchester United here. David Blind, setting up for a free kick. Crossed it in. Rene! Oh, Mata! Oh, corner. From the jump corner. Can Manchester United get something? David Blind. Crossing Kedders that way. Blend up to Anthony Marshall. Anthony Marshall. It's to David Blend. We need some support here. He's got Anthony Marshall in the middle! Oh. Nothing wrong with the shot really, except the direction it was. Hit well enough, the goalkeeper didn't have to move, they must have accepted to catch it. The midfield, they've got it back by an interception. Damian. Matthew Damian down the straight and safe for Manchester United. Bring that in. It's to Rene!
make it carry. So we win really. It's my turn this way, I'm taking it. Bring that in. Where's he support? Oh, he's passed it to Kalic! Boric! Boric with a good save. In another corner, in his own corner, Flynn. In his small and oh, Daniel's head of the way. Arthur, oh, but it's only expired one matter! What a save, Boric! It's Schneiderlein! It's Manchester United 1! Van Rijk now! Just over the half hour mark! It's 1 0 to Manchester United! Well, it's a great team for you! Not getting the clear up, and Schneiderlein is there to make it 1 0. It's Manchester United 1. Van Rijk now. It looks like Manchester United will be getting that. Will be in the Champions League. Anthony Marshall, he's covered the pass, and it's through Hesse Lancourt, can he make it two here? It's Manchester United 2, Bournemouth now! Hesse Lancourt going over to Saturday with Mara Anthony in the substitute. Warming up there, and surely now Manchester United can let this lead slip against Bournemouth. Marshall doing the ball there, passing it through to Jesse Lingard, takes a touch, slots at home, to now to Manchester United. Here is another angle on that goal. And Jesse Lingard making it 2 0. Just 5 minutes, 4 minutes after Schneiderlin. Margin here 4 minutes here. after Schneiderlin. It's my new runner. Matt Ritchie. Matt Ritchie, it's in here. Archer. Oh. Sermon. Gosling. Gosling. Bobby. And it's Daniels. Oh my god, he's passed. Can he? Can he just before half time? Is it going to be Joe and Daniels? He has come to the rescue this time. Oh, come on. Right and a half time, 2 0 up against Bournemouth. And Bournemouth, oh my god, they've lost to Australia. Bournemouth get back into this one. It's a real tussle between the two of them to try and get the ball. Benek up over here. In his outway. It's Francis. Oh, Dustin gets in the way. Oh, it's Oh, he took down the box at the penalty for Burnley! A twist in the tail here. Daniel stem up for the penalty. And it's 2-1! It's Manchester United 2. Burnley's 1. Burnley's getting something again into this game. Can they get something from it? See, smashed into the top corner from Daniels. So well, here doesn't even go for over it. Over again, isn't it. Straight away into that top corner. We go again, two one. In one matter for Manchester United, win running. And it's Morgan Schneider. 
Can walk and stand on for a second! Garmin, what's that? It's crossed in! It's an error. He's dragged a line. Can I get to it? No! Damn, I've shut him off. He's won the ball. It's in. Herrera. It's Manchester United. Three point mass one. In the Manchester United. I don't think they're going through to the point to finish third. Much the better team. Green Rooney from the result he took. One net. Surely I could have shot it, but he passed it over to Herrera. It's Manchester United three. It's one mass one. Surely Man United have got that first play skewed. Their Champions League spot skewed. Oh, Jan is out stone there. It's Rooney. Green Rooney. And it's into Jan is out. It's over now. Oh, Francis! It's in! It's Manchester United 4. Burnmouth 1. At 9. Yanazai just came on. Boric gets a touch to, but Francis is out and Chris Anthony on net and he doesn't believe it. Unbelievable scene to Old Trafford. It's now Manchester United 4. Bournemouth 1. Sunderland and Watford, Watford and Sunderland and Vickery Road, Watford, they've had quite a decent season in their first season and the, Bar the Barclays family does safe from relegation, they've got nothing to fight for, but Tottenham are in relegation troubles, they just need to draw here against Watford to ensure they stay up, but a win will be on the minds of the players, they won't be selling for a draw, they'll be wanting, they'll be fighting hard to beat Watford so that they ensure that they stay up because they are three points clear of West Bromwich Albion in the Watford lineup Gomez and goals Neon, Casper, Ritos and Ake the back four, Berami the defensive mid, Suarez and Capu the central mid, Gerardo, Gerardo and the wingers and up front on his own is Odin Agallo for Watford United here. And for Sunderland, Menoni then goes back for of Jones, Dominguez, Oshie and Van Anholt. Defensive mid is Casmo. Then just in front of him, Villa and uh, Rodwell. Then the wingers, Berini and Cadbury and up front on his own, Jermaine Defoe. What can Jermaine Defoe do for Sunderland? Can he get the winner? Can he? Keep Sunderland up in the Barclays Premier League this season. So it's Hampton, Modric City, both relegated. Who will be that third team to be relegated? Now three o'clock, three o'clock, sorry, all around the world, all around England, and this game is about, is just, is underway. If you did the Hawthorne, it's West Bromwich Albion who are fighting for relegation, are fighting 
to stay up in the Barclays Premier League against Liverpool for fighting to stay to be in the top score by the end of the season. Now you can see it, Liverpool in fourth, West Bromwich Albion in 18th. And both the teams coming out, both teams, Liverpool need to at least win to get four and the top scoring team in the Premier League are Liverpool. They need to at least win to get solid top four. And West Brom need to win. They can't have any other results. They need to beat Liverpool today to stay up. This is the West Brom and Chelsea team. And it's, we've got Foster, Gamboa, Chester, Evans, Pocognoli, the back four, Jakob, Nabre, Pritchard, Gardner and McLean, the mid four, and Rondon up front. And Liverpool have a Europa League game in Wednesday, so they're playing quite a secondary squad with Tostegan and goals. Onya Dima, Skirtle, Cocker, Gomez, the back four, Chan, Allen, Henderson, Lalana, the Diamond midfield four, and Ben Tekin, Danny Ings up front. And now, the West Brom players, they know they have to beat Liverpool today to stay up. And now it's 3 around, three o'clock around the world, let's get this game kicked off. Manchester United, last game of the season, they need to beat Burnmouth to ensure they're in the Champions League next season. And for Burnmouth, they've got to beat Manchester United here to ensure that they stay, they stay in the Barclays Premier League next season. Or they need to at least draw. But Manchester United need to win to ensure their place in the, the top four. And there's the Man United squad, De Gea, Darmian, Small and Blitz, Fourth Luke Jackson, Carrick, Schneiderlin, Mata, Martial, Blake, and, the, and Manchester United, last game of the season, they need to beat Burnmouth to ensure they're in the Champions League next season, and for Burnmouth, they've got to beat Manchester United here, to ensure that they stay, they stay in the Barclays Premier League next season. Or they need to at least draw. But Manchester United need to win to ensure their place in the, the top four. And there's the Man United squad. De Gea, Darmian, Small and Blitz, Fourth Luke Jackson, Carrick, Schneiderlin, Newcastle United, we have some tournaments for last game of the season. Newcastle United fighting for a Europa League spot. Tottenham Hotspur fighting for a Champions League spot. And now both, both teams have something to fight for. Both teams going to give it their all. But Who's going to win? Who will be the team to win? Matthew Manchester and And this is the Newcastle United team. They've got Donald Gold, Jan Matt Taylor, Castan, and Ben by the back for Shelby, Wijnaldum in the holding midfield. Townsend, Sudoku in the wings. Perez, just behind him. Um, the Mitrovic. Mi 
John Lennon, Kim Spencer Vinnick, the Jodis in goals with Walker, Odomiro, Bama, and goes to the back four, Dyer Dembele, Lamela Chadley, the wing to midfour, and Dele Alley just behind Harry Kane. Both playing similar formations. It's a big game for both teams. Deli Alley, it's Harry Kane, the champion for Tottenham early on! It's Newcastle United now! Tottenham has for one! Keep Tottenham, this is a big start! Such an early start! Rose brings it in, pass it to Deli Alley, over to Harry Kane, and Darlow doesn't get to it, and it's Newcastle United now, Tottenham has for one! Harry Kane striking it in, Darlow doesn't get to it! It's 1-0 already to Newcastle United. Four minutes in. Newcastle United. We have some Tottenham for the last game this season. Newcastle United fighting for a Europa League spot. Tottenham Hotspur fighting for a Champions League spot. And now, both, both teams have something to fight for. Both teams going to give it their all. But, who's going to win? Newcastle United. We have some Tottenham for the last game this season. Newcastle United fighting for a Europa League spot. Tottenham Hotspur fighting for a Champions League spot. And now, both, both teams have something to fight for. Both teams going to give it their all. But, who's going to win? Who will be the team to win? And this is the Newcastle United team that could double and go to Yarn Matt Taylor, Castan. And then by the back for Shelby, Reynolds in the holding midfield. Townsend, Suzuko in the wings. Perez just behind um, the Mitrovic. Sunday's in Kings Bank for Venue. The Yoris in goals with Walker, Odomiro, Vemma. Stop City are fighting for a Europa League place. If they win, they secure their European place. But if they lose in either Newcastle United or Leicester City win their games, then they will no longer be in the European spot. And for West Ham United and Stoke City, Young City and Angelique Hyatt are the players to watch. They both did tremendous for Stoke City in their and West Ham in their first seasons. And, and, wow, like, and Stoke City are fighting for, and here's a Stoke City line up, Jack Cotton, Cameron, Wonshade, Peter to back four, Afalai, Mbula, Shakiri, and out of it to mid four, Bojan just behind Mamie Jeff up front. Stoke City fighting for a Europa League place, they're fighting with Newcastle and, and now West Ham United kicking off. Shikiri to Juf. Over. Can Jam Shikiri get to it? Punch the way from Adri. And Glenn Johnson with it. He's running across. It's to Mark Thor and Mark to match. I'm 
bulldozer. You buy any supports got Jim to keep in the in the right hand side? You well uh well well. Pass a move. Pass it to the Gritos gets in the way there. Move. Nivella, Nivea, Catamol, it's Jermaine Defoe, can he make it one now here, oh it's in, Watford United now, Sunderland won, great start for Sunderland on their survival bit to stay in the Premier League for next season, Nivella, go to Catamol, he pass it through to Jermaine Defoe, Defoe takes it, controls it, strikes it, Got him, it's no one made it into the top corner. It's Watford United now. Sunderland won. A great start for Sunderland. And will they be able to stay up now? Jermaine Defoe getting the goal. Eight minutes into the game. And now, Deva Kuriji with the ball. 36 minutes in. Touch it. Oh, we're calling off. Kenya! It's worse for Chavi now! Liverpool won! What? 36 minutes! It looked like he was going in from McCauley's knee, but no, it went over to continue. It's West Brom and Chavi now! It's Liverpool won! They start for Liverpool. And now, it's Deva Kariki, it's passed through, it's Daniel Sturridge! Can he make it to now just before I've died? We're forced against it now! It's in! It's West Brom and Chavi now! Liverpool took just before half time. Looks like Liverpool may have sealed this game for them. Daniel Sturridge getting a second goal. 2 0 to Liverpool. At half time, Stoke City are 2 0 up. After that, with one of the goals for Stoke City. The other was Bojan. Both former Barcelona players as well. Interesting fact. And now the second half getting underway here at Britannia Stadium. And at half time, it's Watford United now. Sunderland won. Not much action happening here since Jermaine Defoe put Sunderland 1 0 up. The only piece of action. No, there's not been much action. At half time, it looks so far that Sunderland will be staying in the Premier League. They're 1 0 up. In half time at the Emirates, it's Arsenal 1, Aston Villa 0. Danny Welbeck with the goal. He said three shots, only one goal has went in, one of those just went in. It's Arsenal 1, Aston Villa 0 at the half time break. Nothing exciting since Danny Welbeck scored. Can Arsenal hold on to this lead? Can Arsenal make this up? Joe Campbell's coming on for Danny Welbeck. And Theo Walcott has been shifted up front, and Joe Campbell has been put onto the right hand side. Can Arsenal manage to hold on to this lead and potentially get another? Because this is quite an attacking change. We've got it. He's just lost it straight from kickoff. Bellerin, Campbell, Bellerin. It's Adam Ramsey. Oh, Sanchez has lost it. Ramsey! Let's go. And other. That's it out. Carlos Sanchez. Carlos Sanchez. And it's got Jeremy. And Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott's breaking out of it. He's going to pass that score. Jolly let's go. Solid defending there. Ramsey. Theo Walcott. Oh, Joe Campbell, can he make it a third? Oh my god, a chance here for Aston Villa, maybe? No. Oh, yep. No. Adam Ramsey. Oh my god, Theo Walcott's away here. Can he make it a four? Theo Walcott is four. 
Okay, it's saying, it's <laughs> nearly golden. Where's the golden gun off the floor? Steel World Cup. It's, it's Arsenal 4, Aston Villa now. It's all over. It was all over after 3 0. But Arsenal in the second half just came off. Just about to kick off here at Stanford Bridge. Pedro replacing Bertrand Curry. No, Pedro replacing Kennedy and Pato replacing Bertrand Curry. He didn't have a good start. Good, good first half. Can see to get something from the second half. They need to win, remember, to get the Barclays Premier Tail, which is knocking William off the ball here. It's a corner for Chelsea. It's crossed in from William. No, can pass up. No, Vardy is clear. And says Fabregas. Let's give it quite a John will be Michael too. Yeah, Oscar, he's straight here! Schmeichel! Pittsburgh can I not team less to get a chance here? No. Oscar still in the ball off another. He's passed it through in the Alexander Pato. Can it get can it get ready to make this change? Oscar. Pedro. Inland. Well, no, no, what's it? It's passed through. Brian Morris and Jimmy Vardy. He's in the box here. It's in Vardy! It's no! Fucking Shirley Hansen! It's Chelsea Town! Leicester City won! Oh my god, there was a muddle up in the box there! And the heart of my eyes! My eyes! Low cross and Marty got a touch, Terry! But no, Kotwa gets out and then Okazaki! Back you into the bottom corner! It's Chelsea 2, Leicester City 1! Leicester City with hope! Leicester City potentially getting this Champions League spot up! And, the, and Manchester United, last game of the season, they need to beat Burnmouth to ensure they're in the Champions League next season. And for Burnmouth, they've got to beat Manchester United here to ensure that they stay, they stay in the Burnmouth Premier League next season. Or they need to at least draw. But Manchester United need to win to ensure their place in this the top four. And there's the Man United for De Gea. And with a pass up. Man, it's been a jerk! My dream is coming that way. Bogan's gone for it. Hi, that's it. It's a throw in a dangerous situation. And it's to Johnson. It's crossed in. It's Mammy Jeff! Oh, I dream. Except for Quano. Affleck's just in, just not, punched away, but still not, that was a way with it. The two of them there. And the Valencia, oh, he's a great defender now. Can we have time to get something from this one here? Yes, Antonio. Oh god, oh no, can I just turn on first? One did tackle. And it's a red card! My card out of it, the big sack shot. 56 minutes into the game. Good challenge, Stormer. And now, Stoke City, down to 10 men, but they're still two ahead. Because they were pretending here, Antonio. He's going into the box, but it's just outside of the box. But you know, now it's about to get 10 off it. Hi, it's getting up for the free kick. It's crossed in. The bottlings there are easy for them, easy as you like. And now, it's. It's. Oh, it's over. Lampard! I go back 
Pull it from the West Brom. So get back into this and stay in the Premier League. Ricky Lambert making it 2 1. Time here at Old Trafford and it's Manchester United 4, Barnmouth 1, Manchester United, anyway, Manchester United will be in the Champions League next season, they have guaranteed themselves that third spot, Mills Morgan Schneider, one of the goal scorers in today's match, in Barnmouth, are still in the Premier League. Bournemouth staying up after a Liverpool defeated West Bromwich Albion 2 0. Yeah, they contributed plenty, scored a few goals. And, and that's set. Full time score here at the Hawthorns. West Bromwich Albion 1 no doubt that 2 2. From himself, continue getting the first, getting the goal for Liverpool, getting the first goal for Liverpool. Excellent performance. What well, performance from him does? Ricky Lambert who got one back for West Brom, gave them hope, but wasn't enough. And now you see West Bromwich have been one, Liverpool two. Liverpool beating West Brom here. West Brom relegated. And the final standings of the league table So Arsenal on top with 78 points. Winning their last game against Aston Villa 4-0. One point clear of Chelsea who finish in second. Manchester United 5 points behind in third. Beating Burnmouth 4-1. Liverpool finishing in fourth. Beating West Bromwich Albion. Relegating West Bromwich Albion down to the championship. Beating them. 2-1. Tottenham Hotspur finishing 5th after they beat Newcastle United 3-0. They didn't manage to get into the Champions League. They didn't win by their full difference wasn't as good as Liverpool. Stoke City finishing 7th place after Newcastle United and Leicester City both lost to Chelsea, Leicester City losing 2-1 to Chelsea and Newcastle United losing 3-0 to Tottenham Stoke City beat West Ham United 3-0 and they finish in the Europa League, their last Europa League space and they go on into the European League qualifying rounds in the relegation battle Sunderland won their game against Watford United so they stay up Bournemouth lost 4-1 to Manchester United but they stay up because West Bromwich Albion failed to beat Liverpool at the Hawthorns. They lost 2-1, so they go down with Norwich City and Southampton. So the league standings are Arsenal win the Barclays Premier League for the first time in over 10 years. Chelsea finish second, a point behind. Manchester United and Liverpool win the race for the Champions League spot. Manchester United finishing with 72 points, Liverpool with 71, Tottenham finishing fifth with 71 points, but they are a good bit off Liverpool's goal difference, I think it's 28 roughly, I think it's 28 goal difference, they are minus off Tottenham, so they are off Liverpool, so they finish in Europe for these spots, Manchester City finishing sixth. Guaranteeing the Europe League spot, Stoke City in 7th, guaranteeing themselves the qualifying round, Newcastle United 8th, Leicester City 9th, failing to get the last Europe League spot, so they will not get Europe League football next season, Everton finishing 10th, Swansea in 11th, uh, Watford in 12th, Aston Villa in 13th, West Ham in 14th, Crystal Palace in 15th, Sunderland escaping relegation by 6 points in 16th after beating Watford. Burnmouth just escaping relegation thanks to Liverpool beating West Brom. So they finish in 17th with 36 points. West Brom at Chelsea, Norwich City and Southampton are all relegated down to the Championship. And that's the end of the Barclays Premier League season 20.
15, 20 seconds. Okay, we'll see you next year.